Alrighty guys, this is part two of the Aurora Gagnon story. Warning, viewer discretion is advised. Neighbors who suspected something was amiss remained aloof. The local priests and the justice of the peace did not do anything effective than to toot toot about the abuse. On February 12, 1920, a doctor was called to the Gagnon's house. He found Aurora in a coma. Her body was covered with strange wounds, 52 in total. It was later revealed she had not survived that night. Marie-Anne and Telesphora were arrested two days later. They were tried separately in Quebec City in April. Marie-Anne was found guilty of unaliving and sentenced to hang on October 1st. Telesphora, who was unlike his wife, was deemed not deliberately to have sought his daughter's unaliving. He was guilty of manslaughter and was given life in prison. Marie-Anne had twins and were born in July. Then two days later, she was supposed to be hanged and her sentence changed to life in prison. Behind the bars, both killers were eventually to receive mercy. This is something that Aurora was never fortunate of. In 1925, Telesphor was released because of throat cancer said to be terminal, but it was later proved not to be. And in 1938, he remarried a third wife and lived until 1961. In 1935, Marie Anne was released because of cancer, but hers was real. She moved back home with her sisters in Montreal and passed there the following May from breast cancer and brain cancer. Topsy was later conducted on a roar in a church at Sar Christi by Dr. Albert Moroz, who noted all 54 wounds all over her body. The most severe wound was located on the side of Aurora's skull. Her scalp was caked in dried blood and pus and her left thigh was swollen. The skin on her hands and wrists had been ripped down to the bone. Alrighty guys, this is said to be the only picture of Aurora and I think she's one of these two girls. Um, but it's really hard to tell with how blurry it is. That is the unfortunate story of Aurora Gagnon. If I mispronounce anything, guys, do not kill me in the comments. I know. Um, I try to research these stories. I try to learn how to pronounce their name properly. There was another story that I did that was from Australia and a lot of people, it was a common name. Um, and people were telling me that the pronunciation was wrong when in fact it wasn't because I pronounced it exactly how her mother pronounced it in the 911 video. Anyways, I will catch you guys in my next one. Um, always know, I mean no disrespect to the victims if I mispronounce or say something wrong, so please keep that in mind. But I love you guys. I'll catch you in my next one. Remember to always take care and make good decisions. Bye guys.